Good morning and welcome to the Clophis. I hope that you are well this morning. The other day, I heard a preacher say this line and he said, if you don't know how to navigate loss, you can't be trusted with gain. If you don't know how to navigate loss, you can't be trusted with gain. And I didn't really like that very much. And I thought, it kind of sounds like it could be right, but I still don't think I like it very much. So I started to think about it more and think about the, the scriptures that either back this up or go against it. And there's so much in the Bible that teaches on good stewardship, that teaches on being faithful, that teaches on um, like the parable of the, the talents and even Job's story. He goes through tremendous loss and such an arduous long journey of devastation, but he is faithful with his honoring the Lord and his relationship with the Lord, and he just gets such a gift from God in abundance afterwards. And so there's just there's a lot to back up this statement that those who are faithful and who do know how to navigate loss get gain and advance so much more. And those who don't kind of get stuck there. And so I just want to encourage you with this today because when we keep our hearts pure and our eyes on Jesus, no matter what we're going through, no matter what we're walking through, then this allows us to navigate through the hardest of situations. When we're just like, nope, I am not gonna go to whatever negative things, I'm gonna keep my heart pure, I'm gonna keep my mind pure, I'm gonna keep my eyes on Jesus, and I'm gonna walk through this. And I know at the end, I am with Jesus because he never leaves me, I am stronger, my faith is greater, I am becoming who God has called me to be as I walk through this with Jesus, keeping my eyes on him and keeping my heart pure. And so, and then from this amazing fruit, the fruit, the Holy Spirit fruit is evidence. Our love, our patience, our kindness, because no matter what we go through, instead of becoming jaded and scarred, we are looking at Jesus. We are keeping our hearts so pure. So then as we're navigating through these challenging situations, we are learning to love. We are learning to be gracious. We are learning to be patient in all of these things. And so I just want to encourage you today, whatever you might be going through, or friends and family members, to truly keep your heart pure before the Lord and keep your eyes on Jesus as you walk through this season. And remember, He is with you and He is faithful and He doesn't allow us to go through anything that we can't as long as we depend on Him and trust in Him and put our all in Him. So today... I encourage you to just look to Jesus, to keep your heart pure, to just be ready to just be in his presence and worship him and thank him no matter what and see how you are strengthened to walk through this season and be a joyful overcomer. Have an amazing day because as you are faithful with the small, the Lord will give you so much greater. God bless.